Hey, I'm Nick Scott, owner of Adventure Trail Gear. This video is going to show you the mounting demonstration and different variations for the chainsaw bag. So the chainsaw bag can mount to either a spare tire or a rack or ladder or anything like that. So I'm going to show on my Terraflex Alta Carrier here uh, just the concept for using these straps to make sure it fits properly. So you'll get a strap like this. It's a double layered strap. This one's actually my older version, a thinner polyester. It comes a lot thicker now. Um, so it's going to hold up to the elements. So the key is to make sure that these two metal spring buckles are behind the surface that your saw is gonna to mount to, so you can pull the saw nice and tight to that surface to reduce any of the wiggle. So for this, it's one of the more complex ways to mount it. Uh, so I'm gonna use this as a demonstration to show the ways that you can figure out uh, how to really adjust it properly. So for this here, if I just pass the strap around it, it's a little too long to adjust. And if I made all these metal buckles adjustable on a shorter strap, it would be a lot less contact uh, for the two straps to be sewn together. So you see these two metal buckles are out past the mounting surface. I basically just need to find a way to shorten this to make it so they're not out past the, the mounting surface. So here, I'm just gonna wrap it around this a couple times. Might be a little too short. Adjust those a little bit. Okay, that's really close. Now just to get the buckles to connect, I'm just gonna lengthen the strap a little bit. Okay, so because this is a little bit wider than the saw, I can have them come out just a bit. If this was on a ladder or something, you just wrap that around the rung of a ladder a few times uh, to make those metal buckles positioned properly. So now I'm just gonna mount the bag. So the bag, much like the new spare tire straps, has D-rings on it instead uh, for where these straps would be exposed to the sun. So instead of uh, it being sewn on, if for some reason this got chewed up by the metal buckle or you hit your saw on something and it pulled one of the straps out. Uh, these are all replaceable now. So these four ones that come through the D-rings are what you're going to hook to your mounting straps. And then the longer straps that wrap all the way around to the sewn on metal buckle down here are just your compression straps to really tighten the bag down. So I'll hold this saw, depending on where it is up here put my body against it, put one strap through, leave it a little bit loose so you're able to make some adjustments. I'll snug these ones up a little bit just to keep it up in the area that I want it. Then you put the lower ones on. And now you can just tighten those down. Okay, so the saw is mounted. The straps are mounted really strong. Now the compression straps will take any of the wiggle out of the body. You can go straight across if you'd like. It depends on the shape of your saw, the handle. I like to get it wrapped around one of the, uh, the handle parts of the saw.
So that's the saw bag. It has a little bit of wiggle down here. I usually put a little wrap strap on it. Uh, so you can buy those as well. Or if it's on a ladder and you can't get these uh, positioned to the perfect spot to be able to pull it nice and tight, I'll put a little wrap strap wrapping around the bar. Uh, but on a tire, it's a lot more sturdy. Uh, but still, that's not gonna go anywhere on the trail. Let's cross it to see how it changes. And there you go. That'll hold that saw in there nice and strong. And same thing, if you wanted to add a little bit extra, you get a wrap strap, put it around the bar, just take that extra little wiggle out. But that saw is on there good, and it's not going anywhere. If you want to use the saw from the bag, just take those compression straps off. Undo the zipper. And lift the saw right out. Easy to use. Better than taking ratchet straps off of a hard case. And when you're done, you just put it back away. <laughs> Zip it up and put the compressor straps back on. So there's a full liner inside to help collect bar oil. So if you have it mounted in this direction or sitting down properly as if you lay it on the ground, uh, it forms a nice little basket all the way around it with a pretty high lip and then it completely encompasses the uh, bar to catch any bar oil. On the front side, you have this little slot for a hatchet. It's open-ended on the bottom, so if you have a longer one, you can put it in there as well. Down in the pockets, you have two pot, uh, a smaller pocket and a larger pocket. This one's big enough to hold a liter of bar oil. So I have my ear protection, gloves, a set of iPro, uh, and then a liter of bar oil in the one down here. On the back is also a uh, half inch foam pad. So if you're carrying it with the shoulder strap that's included, it's a little bit softer on your hips so none of the sharp parts of the saw are bumping into your body. All right, that's the end of this video. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, as well as check me out on Facebook and Instagram and sign up for updates on the website so you have all the latest information on new products and everything I'm working on.